In this video, I'm going to be reviewing this wireless headset called the Rebox TX8 wireless headphone. Also, a big shout out to Rebox for actually providing this headset for free for me to review for you guys. If you are interested in actually getting this headphone for free, I will be giving this exact headphone that you see in this review to one of you guys that are watching this video. So all you have to do is subscribe, leave a comment as to why you might want it. And if you are located in the US, you could have a chance to win this. If you're located anywhere else, I'm sorry. I only can ship in the US, so just keep that in mind. But without further ado, let's get to the review. As we can see right here, this is what the packaging looks like, right? So here's the side. Those are all the different colors it comes in. They have all the specifications on this side as well. And then some more details about the headphones on the back like this. So right off the bat, it's got volume control with mic, wireless connected, soundproof, high sound quality, touch function, comes in black, white, pink, gray. And then the specifications are playtime of 14 hours and then standby time of 500 hours. And then it only takes about two hours to actually have it fully charged, which is not bad at all. And I just decided to go with this color right here, kind of the matte black look. I thought it looked nice. So let's get to actually opening this. As you open it up like so, you're going to see that it just comes in this nice box right here. So you're probably thinking, all right, is that all they give you? Just the headphones and that's it? Well, no, you got to actually take out this plastic piece. And then you will see the accessories that are in there and the instructions and the two cords that you will need. One cord is just if you want to plug in the headphones manually into whatever device you are trying to listen to. It does have a wireless Bluetooth component, so you don't actually need them. But let's say, you know, if you're on like a plane or whatever, or if you just want to listen with wires, you can do that as well. Then what they give you are these instructions right here. And then what they'll show you is what all the different buttons mean and how you can use them. And also what the different lights mean when you're charging it and connecting it to Bluetooth. So super helpful details in there as well for you guys, if you have any confusion when using these headphones. So here are the headphones themselves. As you can see, I'm wearing right now the Bose black headphones. I do not know the exact name of my Bose headphones. They're just Bose matte black. They're around $400. Guess how much these are? These are less than $30 if you want a wireless matte black headphone like this that connect to your phone, your laptop, whatever it may be. It can have a wireless connection through Bluetooth, which is super cool. And it's really easy to charge. There's all these features on the side of it right there if you want to control the volume up and down turn it on and then also the different channels and then they also have a memory slot right there if you do not have a smartphone this is another way to put in tf card to listen to music as well i never knew about that feature i guess that still exists and you know not everyone has phones so it's nice that they at least offer that feature which is really cool then if you want to charge it what you see right here is you just pull up in this lap and then they have the charging usb type c input and then also where you put your headphone jack if you want to plug it in directly into your computer now let's just kind of see what else is on here so we have the top with the logo the rebox right there right here we have a slight bit of the logo as well so now let's kind of test how these sound, how they feel, and where not these might be the next headphones for you. I'm going to actually connect these headphones to my iPhone and see how they sound and also how they are on top of my head. So I'm just going to turn it on right now. Welcome to Ripoff headset. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth connected. And then I will look for it on my phone. All right, so I'll go here to Bluetooth and it'll be this one right here so now it should be connected and now let me play some music real quick with it in the actual headset you get pretty loud in here without the ring it's full volume but volume can you guys sing all right i'm gonna try them on right now for myself as well oh really good so far okay these are actually 
really good. I'm actually somewhat surprised. Um, I will admit when you expand these open and close, it's a little like hard to do it at first. Like at first I didn't want to break it. So I was like, I don't know if it's hard to like open and close, but you know, maybe I'm just weak. So it's not the biggest thing in the world. Again, these are only $30, you guys. So uh, actually less than that. And they can extend like that. So if you have a really big head, like that might be too short. So you just extend this a little bit on both sides like that. Put it over your ears. It's got the left and the right. Put over your ears like so. And then... And to be honest, you guys, I can't even hear my own voice right now. So I call this noise canceling. Okay, so you guys get the point. <laughs> All right, so another cool feature about this is like, yes, they have the buttons right here where you can turn on and off the volume, turn it on your headset, turn off your headset, and then also change the input where it's Bluetooth or that memory card slot. You'll also notice right here is that there's actually this blinking light right there. And if you tap it, it turns on the headphones and plays it. And as you tap it again, it turns them off. So, or just pauses the music really. So that's another cool feature about these headphones is that all you have to do is tap the side of it in order to, on this side, in order to get to pause or play. So what is kind of my final review? Let's see, let me put them on real quick again. Let's see a comfortability. Okay, they're, they're definitely not coming off. I think my ears might be a little too big to be honest with you guys for the actual headphone itself. Let me see. My ears just might be like a little too big, which is fine. Cause I was seeing other reviews and other people said their ears were fine for it. So I might just have a really big head for the ears, probably overthinking it. But in terms of comfortability, they do have a little bit of a cushion right here. This is kind of a metal piece right here and then hard plastic on the other side. It does fold, which is also nice. So it makes it super easy for storing. So just for size, of reference here's my hand here's the headphones so really not too big honestly like i'm impressed so you can just pretty much hold these in one hand which is cool so kind of where my final thoughts on this headphone well it's under 30 dollars and honestly the quality of the audio is actually really good really good bass is kind of a higher pitch sound to the actual audio when you're hearing it but when i was hearing that music and when i was blasting it somewhat medium loud, I would say, I actually couldn't even hear myself. So these aren't noise canceling where when you put on these like on an airplane, you're not gonna hear anyone, absolutely nothing, but there's somewhat noise canceling because they're over the ear. If they're loud enough, you really won't even hear yourself talk. So in a weird way, they kind of are noise canceling in my opinion. And for less than $30, you really can't beat that price. You could bring these to the gym or, you know, if you lose them, you could always buy another pair because these are less than 30 and this is around $400 brand new to buy a Bose matte black headset versus less than $30 for pretty much the same purpose. I will admit that these obviously are a little bit more comfier and maybe have higher quality. Obviously it is Bose, but if you guys just want a nice affordable pair like this from Rebox, the Rebox TX8 wireless headset might be the one for you. So if you are actually wanting these headphones after making it this far in the video, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below as to why you would want these. You have to be located in the US in order to actually win them. But one of you guys will be the lucky winners of these headphones. So. I appreciate you guys making it this far in the video. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate the support. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thanks.